congrats on the movie. I mean, for the second time, you get to play Wednesday Adams. I mean, Sarah, was it as much fun as the first time? Do you know what I mean? You got oh. to do this twice. <laughs> Honestly, even more fun. You know, I really got to jump into her shoes even more and try to figure out, you know, what ranges of emotions look like for Wednesday. You know, what does she look like when she's aghast? You know, who, yeah. how did she even get surprised? Yeah. And with, and with COVID, was it different? Like, as in, did you record for your own house a little bit for this one? Did, you, that, did that change up the vibe of it a little bit? Yeah, it started off at my house and then I went to film a movie in Boston and then we finished recording it in uh, my closet in an apartment in Boston. So okay. it was one of the most COVID, yeah, one of the most like COVID centric things I've done yet. Yeah. Yeah. And Wednesday is front and center in this one. I mean, and she's a teenager who's obviously a little bit, a little bit different, like a soul. And when you were a teenager, I was thinking about it, you were famous. So your life must have been a little bit different to some of your friends. So did you identify her in that way or in maybe others? Um, yeah, you know, I think it's 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 something that's intrinsic, I think, to 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 the human coming of age story is that I think we all kind of find ourselves in moments and experiences where you're like, am I qualified to be here? Like, do I know what I'm doing? Um, I feel like I, I I still feel that consistently if I'm ever at, you know, award ceremonies or anything like that. I'm like, I don't know that I was supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, for sure. You know, I think it's something that I super, I super connected to with Wednesday. And I think it's something that really stays with you with the story for sure. Okay. Yeah, and animated like this, like they take a, a, a lot longer than a normal live action movie to make. There's a, they're constantly changing, I believe. Is there a lot of script changes along the way and like emails going, okay, we've totally changed that. You've wasted a day there. Do you know what I mean? Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. You know, it definitely changes in its shapes. And 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 um, I think Conrad is such a wonderful director and he's so quick. So he and I really got into a wonderful pace with each other where we we repped out this script, you know, in, in only a few sessions. So, you know, he's he's super definitive on what he wants and how he wants it. And, um, you know, we we honestly, we 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 finish it up so quickly. I was surprised at, at how quickly we got through it. Um, but he's just, he's a super proficient director. Okay. And this is a family movie, obviously, but it is a little bit darker. Do you know what I mean? As a family movie you've done lots of darker movies from Let In, Carrie I love loads of your movies I love horror movies or any sort of dark movies do you like the creepy side of movies and creepy movies and like Halloween's coming up do you do up the whole house I know this place will be this bedroom even will be decorated by the time Halloween comes around oh for sure I mean I think you know I think my 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 resume my resume stands for itself with how much I like dark films um I, I think that I've I've always been interested um in the more macabre side of life you know it's always yeah. been something that I I've I've felt myself lean into and especially with Adam's family like when I was younger I grew up on Adam's family you know Christina Ricci was like you know my 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 uh my dream of what what to become as an angsty teenager <laughs> so 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 for sure you know I think um I've always been interested in the darker side of things and I've gravitated towards it so it felt like a natural extension to be able to have the opportunity to play Wednesday and I jumped yeah. at the opportunity I was like this is I'm I, at this point in time, couldn't play 13 physically, but my voice can totally be 13, 14. So let's <laughs> go for it. And of course, she is a teenage girl Wednesday, we said at the top. What do you want teenage girls maybe to take away from this movie? You know, I think um, something that I really enjoyed was, was, you know, the fact that, you know, towards the end, the idea of chosen family, you know, and that it, you know, you don't just have to be a blood relation to be family and to love each other and, 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 and for it to be a family. And so that's something that, you know, when we don't really know what Wednesday is and, and whether or not she is a part of the family, she still chooses to be an Adams. And I think that was a, an ideal and, and, and something that I really thought was so important and intrinsic to the story. And I, I love how they navigated it. And, um, and, you know, also that, you know, she's unabashedly herself throughout the whole thing and that she really was led with an open palm to, to figure out who she is. Um, and Morticia didn't pressure her too hard. And I thought that was that was really sweet. It was. Congratulations on the film. Loved it. And uh, yeah, great to talk to you, Chloe. Thank you. Thank you.